take you on a journey. My journey to a time in my life that I have never been able to forget. We all have memories, happy, sad, and maybe even tragic. But the personal memories that I'm about to share with you are considered to be more as a permanent burn mark on my soul that I wake up with every day. This goes back roughly two and a half years. I had befriended some musician types around that time and would go out to jazz shows in the city. One particular night, there was this group called the Quartet of Happiness. Well, what I saw that night would taunt every bone in my body to embark on a never-ending quest that still will not leave me be. This is the 12th excursion that I've taken to Franklin Park in search of what I saw the night of the Quartet of Happiness show. I canvassed 80 to 90 percent of Franklin Park just in hopes of a sighting. Just walking, listening, not by prodding or provoking. So what are we looking for anyway? Well, what we're looking for, this horrible, hideous creature, it has a face. Oh, it's face. It plays a horn that sounds like a thousand tortured souls screaming all at once. They call this creature the monster. Uh, who calls it the monster anyway? It's Keepers, the Quartet of Happiness. <laughs> the Quartet of Happiness. All right, that sounds like a crazy name, but whatever, you guys are paying me either way. I'll go along with it. It was on this 12th excursion when we first heard the screams. Hey, Professor, you mind if we take a little break here? I'm getting kind of tired out. Sure, actually, that seems appropriate. You've been carrying all that equipment around. I guess I'd be a little bit pooped, too. All right, thanks, man. Oh, what? Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything. I heard something. Leave that camera on and be still. Shh. Oh, okay, wait. Do it again. Over there. Do it again. Please, do it again. Who was that? There it is. Oh, God. You heard that. Oh, man, this is weird. Okay, so I think it's coming from that Right over there. Right over there. I think it's coming from that direction. Shh. It's, it's coming closer. Whoa. Whoa, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I should have been excited to make contact, but frankly, I was scared out of my mind. After hearing it scream, and God, I had forgotten how terrifying it sounded, it was moving closer and closer to us. I figure we were in the middle of the park, at least a half a mile from any houses. We really could be in some serious trouble if that thing had attacked. That was it. Not even a peep or any sounds of movement after the screaming. I knew the monster could sense our presence, but I wasn't sure what it would do. Thank heavens it did nothing. Although I was reluctant to return to the woods, I felt that we had built up momentum, so we returned the very next day without a change of clothes. So we're out here on our 13th trip back to Franklin Park. I hold here in my hand a CD that I hope may one day lead to a monumental event in jazz music history. I recently attended a concert that featured saxophonist George Garzon. George is the reason why I'm back here in these woods today. When I heard him play, he brought me back to that frightening moment when I first heard the monsters play. I feel that his playing somehow parallels the monsters' passionate presence so vividly and I feel it's a must that I somehow get these two creatures to me. So how do you plan on bringing the two of them together? Well, I brought along George's CD in hopes of leaving it with the monster so I can hear its kindred musical spirit. Okay, whoa, check this out. Whoa. What? What is it? It looks like the remnants of some old zoo. Look at these dilapidated structures. Wow. It's actually kind of cool. right over here. Look at this. What do you think they used to put in here? Whoa. <laughs> Whatever was in there, I don't think I want to meet it. I would have to agree with you. Oh wow, check this out right over here. Looks like giant teeth or something. Nuts. Looks like it was trying to keep something real big. Hideous in its place. Wow. Whoa! 
Man, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I think I heard that. I think it's coming from right over here. All right. Let's move a little closer. Let's go. Okay, wait, wait. Be careful. Whoa. Man, all right. Okay. No, I'm, no, I'm hearing is, that. This Where is okay. that? This will be okay. This will be okay. I think it's right over here. Okay, let's, let's get a little closer. All right. Okay. Dude, it's uh, that hole. That hole right it's there. It's coming from right over there. Whoa! Did you see anything? No, I don't see anything. All right, this might be a good time to kind of get out of here. Uh, Let's go. Oh, oh. No, I, I hear it. Okay. Man. We're, we're so close, though. Okay. Man. Whoa, whoa, look, 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 what? zoom in. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, okay. whoa. Okay, whoa. Man, that's okay, it. Okay. That's it. That, I'm, no, no, that's it. No, no. No, that's, oh, that. Where, where? Where? Get it. Get it. Oh, wait, I'm out. I'm out. Oh. I never would set foot in those woods again, or so I thought. I looked up the Quartet of Happiness, put in a call to one of their saxophone players, Rick Stone. I know that the quartet has contact with the monster and needed to see if the monster had listened to George Garzon's movie. Yeah, he got it. Man, he can't stop talking about how much he loves the CD. Really? That's splendid, because I have an idea. Oh yeah? What's that? I know this sounds crazy, but I would like to somehow get the monster to meet the great George Garzon in person. Maybe at a show, but that might frighten his audience away. <laughs> it's funny that you're thinking about doing that, because I'm actually one step ahead of you. The monster told me that it wants to take a lesson with George Garzon. So I called George up and set it up. Really? How? Well, I'm good friends with his girlfriend. I've gotten to know George through her. That's how he agreed to do the lesson. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, the monster gets a lesson with George Garzon. Isn't that great? Brilliant. <laughs>